So welcome back guys and in this part we'll add the videos to the stories. So currently the stories only display the images and it only shows the images and you can go back and forward. You can pause it. You can see it's paused. You can close your story and yeah. So we need to add videos too. So you can say you can see the video content. So to do that what we need to do is we need to do control C to stop your server you need to do yarn add react native video which is a package being provided by react native so react native video it will add that you do you now also need to do yarn add lottie react native which is used for react native animations Now you need to do CD iOS. You need to do pod install to install pods for your iOS. And once that is done, we can now come out of it and say uh, I have a pasted command that we need to add this yarn add add types react native video we need to save it as a dev dependency and now we also need to do yarn so we can now also check if we still have all the pod installs and that's good we can now come out of it do yarn start and now that's running and now our app is reloaded and currently it works fine and let's add the stories into our exported functions we can say type to be video and we need to say video we need to say require we need to pass in the path assets slash stock dot mp4 comma e now if we can just copy and paste it for three times and I forgot the comma. So, and if we change this to C dot MP4, and then this is fast dot MP4. Lastly, we need to define a Lottie extension to show our JSON. Lottie and our lottie should be lottie like this and we say require for this too and we want to do dot slash assets slash loading dot json and this is good you can clear your terminal reload it now all looking good as but now we need to handle these cases we need to come here and we need to say case uh, video if it's a video story type so story type so then we need to return so we need to return we need to return a video component that we get from react native and that's this video component is we going to pass the source story dot video as we already know that we have this video so we need to do resize mode cover and the style should be styles dot background image so we now also need to do speed uh 
sorry, the paused. So is pause. And we want to lastly do the mute if the if we can make the video. So we already have is muted, which will fit in right very good into and lastly can do the case for Lottie. So if we do Lottie return a Lottie object, Lottie view. Lottie view and now this Lottie view also needs a source. So we need to do for the source we need to do story dot image. Sorry dot Lottie actually I forgot we named it Lottie and story dot Lottie and we need to give it a style styles dot background image. And we now need to give it a speed. So is paused. If it is paused, we, we check, we give it a speed of zero. Question mark, optional chain. And then we do, lastly, we need to do auto play and we need to do a loop. Should we run our project fine? and this should render our image and let's see what the error is and so it says that the resize uh, aspect so let's take this out let's see what happens so cannot read property constants undefined so we need to do this and we need to stop it. We need to do yarn to see everything we have. We have everything. Run it on the application. Let's close it. Let's rerun it and see if this does work. Because we definitely have added video and we need to see if it's in our package JSON. React Native video, we have added a dev dependency. And so React Native video. We'll see what happens now. It's building and let's see. So So as you can see, that's now it's running. So sometimes, and obviously you'll get props for the key that we haven't given a key as we got for image. We definitely need to give a key, uh, which is not a big issue. But uh, as you can see now, the video is running and sometimes you just need to close your application or delete it and then it reruns. So it's easier that way. When you, Whenever you get stuck, don't worry. You can retrace your steps and like see where you got stuck and everything. So now in this way, we have this now video running and let's see if you can pause it. The video does get paused. We have a mute functionality, but currently we don't have any sound. So obviously we are not hearing anything from the simulator, but in actual case, if you're running in an actual video and the video is, we can go back, go forward, go forward, pause it, play it cross it so guys this was the tutorial for instagram stories and thank you for sticking along this long and if you liked please press a thumbs up and we're looking for your subscribe if you are not a subscriber if you're a new uh person who's watching these videos for the very first time please subscribe and hit that bell icon and hit the bell icon please and that's basically it does show me your support if you are liking my videos and i truly mean it so whenever you like my video i really appreciate it and thank you for watching and showing your support to binary hood i'll catch you in the next video so ciao for now and bye